Hi, Mr. Ryan. Take two. Uh, the other day, uh, Thursday, I was in the morning picking up three uh, special needs kids. Two of them are siblings. They all live in the same general area. And uh, the two siblings are on a cul-de-sac. So I'm pulling around the cul-de-sac. I noticed the neighbor two houses away has some galvanized pipe, or at least it looks like that. I really couldn't get out and check because I had to do my bus work. But uh, So uh, I decided to come back later. So I went back during my four hour break between the morning runs and the afternoon runs. And uh, it was galvanized. And matter of fact, here it is right here. So uh, I was happy with that because that's plenty. Uh, I needed it for my for my tower, my guy wires. I need posts for my guy wires. I'm going to plant those in the ground in some concrete. And um, sorry, zoom, unzoom. So uh, so as I'm grabbing them, the owner of the home comes out. He's moving. He's got a sign up. So that's why I wanted to make sure I got up there and got him. It was obvious he was getting rid of him. He says, I got some more in the back that are heavier gauge and they're longer if you're interested. I go, absolutely. So I go in the back and he shows me these here. Of course, they're laying down. They're in some dirt. And um, But if you can see that, they were set up like that with the bolt in them. And the center allows you to hang something from it. So right away, it's a tripod. And I think he said hey, it was his sons. They were using it to pull engines out of something. And uh, he never, he's uh, gone to college and he doesn't need it anymore. So this guy's just trying to get rid of it. It's definitely heavier gauge. They're 12, 12 feet a piece. And um, they're about 3 16ths inch. I don't know what gauge that is, but they're, they're good and heavy. And uh, so, the video comes in, if you look, I got some uh, heavy, pretty heavy duty kind of scrap stuff I picked up a uh, year, I think it was two years ago I got it. There's one piece and then there's another piece over here, right there. Each of those is well over 100 pounds and that one is short, stocky, but it's one inch. And uh, it's just, it's got to be 150 or 75 pounds, whatever it is. This one's probably 125 pounds or more. And um, I got a couple other things. And I have a project for my granddaughter's swing set. I want to, I'm not happy with how these things are joined, the verticals to the, to the horizontal. And uh, the guy that built it, it was nice to give it to me for 20 bucks. It's in good shape, but the way his bolts are in, I didn't like it. And it doesn't leave a lot of meat there for me to work with. So I'm going to weld up some brackets to give me a better connection. And uh, I want it, you know, something heavy. So that's where these things come in. Uh, I would always keep, I kept these because they'll, once I cut them up, They'll make great scrap metal to build things out of. And uh, so today was my day. I was gonna, I was gonna cut them, start cutting them apart with the plasma cutter. So I tried to get that one right there on the wheelbarrow, and I realized I was probably gonna kill myself because I was too lazy to go get my two-wheel wheelbarrow. But even that, I don't know if it would have worked very well because it's just kind of a bulky hard to pick up thing. I wouldn't even attempt to pick up that other one in the wheelbarrow. That would be a, a death sentence, I'm sure. So, hey, I got a, I got a, a tripod with a, it's all set up to put my winch on it. That's what it was made for, holy shit. Why do I bring this to your attention? Well, I just ask you to note, being the heathen that you are, let me uh, 
and you zoom back in or out. Being the heathen that you are, lapsed Catholic, whatever you call yourself, I just want to testify how faithful God is, and in particular that his timing is perfect. Because I didn't know that today would be the day that I would need a tripod. Uh, I have thought about it time, you know, every now and then. Uh, I've got a setup in my garage where I can lift heavy things like that up on the ceiling. Um, honestly, I don't think it's any good for anything over 200 pounds. Maybe 200 is pushing it, but but anyways. So uh, some kind of derrick or tripod or crane or something. I always knew I would have to build something like that. So today's the day, and damn it, just a couple days ago, I come come up with this out of nowhere. So uh, that's that's not a coincidence. You probably recognize that. But do you recognize that God's timing is perfect? If I had had that laying around for a year, it wouldn't have made the impression that it made on me. You know? And that's that's where God's timing is perfect. So, so I got my, uh, my winch hooked up. I'm going to winch that up. I'm going to put it in the the two-wheel wheelbarrow and I'm gonna save my life by doing that because really I would have killed myself without without the winch and uh, it just meditate on that uh, how God is faithful and then ask yourself when is the last time you told God how faithful he was and how much you appreciated it it's something you want to do as often as you can. You can't do it too often. I don't do it often enough. But uh, but I do testify to it when uh, when the impulse hits, which it did today. So I uh, hope you're having a good day. It's about 86 degrees, 88 here, Saturday. Uh, we'll catch you later, buddy. Bye.